which is a, a handbook that was written uh, to assist a, uh, a disciple how to conduct themselves and to remind the disciple about the the avkars or the or the vicars, what these vicars mean, and the order and the sequence in which this vicar is to be done, and then also some of the things that must be done before the vicar uh, is performed, and what things should be done and what things should not be done after the vicar is performed. So generally, in short, this kitab contains about the the, the, the adapt that the person must have uh, when they begin and they commence their, their vikir. Because the vikir or the remembrance of Allah is, uh, is, a, is a very um, similar like uh, salah or like uh, reading Quran which is a vikir by itself and in its own right, but in a, in, a, in a very superior way because all the vikirs that are being recited, all of them, they are derived from the Quran. So the ulama have written the adab, how, what one should do before they, 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 they read Quran, what to do and what not to do during the reading of Quran, and what to do and what not to do after reading the Quran. There is a, a, a booklet which I was teaching uh, last year. Uh, one or two people from here they attended the course at the Al Kothar Center, which is a kitab that was written by Imam Al Nawawi, uh, which is called The Etiquette of Reading the Quran and the Etiquette of the People Who Carry the Quran, how they should carry themselves, uh, what adab they should have. And similarly, also with the reading of the vikirs and the adkars, the ulama have written a lot. Imam al Ghazali rahimahullah, wrote a whole section in the Ihya ulum al -Din. And many other kitabs the ulama have written about uh, how to conduct yourself when making the vikir. Because making the vikir, uh, you are seeking the, the presence of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala said, Anna jalisu man dhakarani. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah said that I am the sitting companion of the one who remembers me when he remembers me. So that means when you are making the dhikr, you are now in seclusion with Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Everything around you does not exist. Even you make the dhikr until you yourself don't exist. You, you empty the whole creation from you and you even empty your, your own self from yourself. Until only Allah remains. And because that uh, maqam and that station of making the dhikr, it leads you to the, the, the haqiqah to tawheed, the reality of tawheed. The, the real oneness of Allah. And this is what the Sahaba radiallahu anhum ajma'in, they used to go through. Uh, Sayyiduna Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu was placed in a, on the sand, the desert sand that was heated by the sun. The, the temperature of the desert is roughly about between 40 and 45 degrees. Here in this country, maybe around about January, February, you won't walk on foot on the road because the temperature is around 33, 34 degrees. You will need to wear shoes in order to walk outside. The enemies of Islam, they would beat him up on his backside and wounds would be open and they would place his body on the sand and they would put a rock on top of his body <coughs> so that the rock will press him against the sand. But while he was going through that, he did not feel anything. He did not feel any pain. He did not feel any beating. He did not feel any loneliness because he was no longer there. What was heard coming from his body, from himself, he said, ahad, 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 ahad. 
the divine name, meaning the one, the one, the one. Because these are a people that are constantly in the remembrance of Allah. And so, when they remember Allah, there is nothing that they see. There is nothing. They don't even see themselves. It's only the presence of Allah. And, that, and that's why Shaykh Ibrahim mentioned in the, in the, in the uh, tafsir of this uh, beginning lines of uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, he said, when he explains the words, uh, Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ Those that believe in the unseen. He mentioned, he said, الْغَيْبُ غَيْبَانِ The unseen world is of two kinds. There is the unseen, الْغَيْبُ الَّذِي غَابَ عَنْكَ وَالْغَيْبُ الَّذِي غِبْتَ عَنْهُ it is the unseen that it has made itself to be absent from you. There is also the other unseen that you have become absent from it. These are the two kinds of the unseen. The unseen that has made itself to be absent from you, these are the, the beings that Allah has created that we don't see with our naked eyes, like the malaika and the likes. But we believe the angels are there. They are called angels is gone. Even if you don't, you are unable to see them because Allah created them in such a way that uh, you can't see them because they make themselves not to be seen. Then there is the other unseen realm, which is always there, is always present. But because of the rafla, the heedlessness, and the 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 the, the you can't see him. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is omnipresent. He is omnipresent. He is present everywhere. He addresses us in Surah Al Waqi'ah and he said, You know, when we are gathering at the time when the, the, soul, the soul of a person comes and leaves, uh, and leaves the body, Allah says, We are there, but you can't see us. When you are seated around a person at the time when the person is passing away is taking place, Allah say we are closer to you than your own jugular vein. The jugular vein is a vein that is inside your neck. Allah say we are closer to you than that vein that is inside your neck. But because of the 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 the, the, rafla, the, the, the forgetfulness of Allah Tabaraka wa Taala, the mirror is very blurry. You can't see anything because the dirtiness has made it not to reflect what is in front of it. The eyes of the person, they can't see because there is a, a veil in front of them. Allah says, Summum, Bukumun, Omiyun. They have eyes, but they cannot see. And they have ears, but they cannot hear. And they have heart, but they cannot comprehend. They cannot use the, they, this heart is not allowing them to understand because the heart is the organ of understanding. Into for is not the mind, it's not the brain. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Afala itatabarun al Quran am ala kulubi himakfaluha. Do they not ponder and think deep, deeply upon the Quran? Or are there locks hanging over their hearts? Allah is saying, Abawazu bugisi saga shay Quran lingwele. Bazamut ba understand what the Quran is shooting, litin. Oh, in a good as in heat as Linga, it is Yen Zabu. In heat as Kia, it is Yotin Kizina Poluk seven. These are the words that Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is uh, <coughs> talking about in the, in, in the Holy Quran. Because the, the organ of understanding, if it is not purified, it will not be able to comprehend, it will not be able to see. 
the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he used to say, uh, "Don't laugh too much, because laughing too much to me to kill to kill the heart, and the heart that is dead will never understand Quran, and the heart that is dead you will never understand Quran because it is dead." Kathratu dahki. We're not saying that uh, now Abantu Mele Batali Bapilim Pilis is serious. <laughs> no. Uh, the Prophet Salam, he also used to laugh. He used to smile. But he was saying that don't do it excessively. Because that will kill the heart. And when the heart is killed, it will not, that heart will not understand the Quran. The youth is here, or maybe it was with seven, they understand the Quran. So, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Likulli Shayin, for everything, uh, there is a, a polish. Everything has a polish, and the polish of the heart is a victor of Allah. The victor of Allah is like a pine to Eliyako. He scraps, he, 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 he scraps up the maskir pot. Is what you use to clean your heart and make it shiny, so that this heart is able to comprehend and, and see things. So, when you you enter into the remembrance of Allah, that heart will not see anything; will only see Allah, because it will always. That's why the Prophet Sallam they always said to him. Or they always refer to him, they said, he was present and absent at the same time. He was present with the people because people used to see his body in front of them. But he was absent from the people because his heart was always in the presence of Allah. Yet he lived among the people. And that state of heart is not only for the Anbiya. Any pious servants of Allah, they reach it. The Siddiqin and the Awliya. The people of remembrance, they are always in the remembrance of Allah wa Ta'ala. And so that, that is the purpose of the of, of the dhikr. So it is important to understand the meaning of the dhikr and, and why the uh, dhikr is done so that uh, we can benefit from it uh, to the maximum benefit. So this uh, handbook was written just to put together the, the things that must be observed uh, at the time of making the video and also just to, 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 to put the, the, the video itself into, uh, its, uh, uh, into its perspective and to have the, the necessary adapt because a, a person, all what matters is adab. What matters is adab in life. Is not how much you know. Is not how much you have. But it is, it is, it is the adab that you have. That is what matters in life. Everything else, Allah don't care about much. Only the adab that you have. Shaitan uh, used to know everything. They say there is no place on earth where shaitan never worshipped Allah before he was made the shaitan. But he didn't have other with Allah. Allah created a human being, Allah wa ta'ala And then he said to the angels, bow down to Adam. All the angels and all the malaika, they obey Allah and they, 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 they made they are sujood to Adam, alayhi salam. But Shaitan, he did not do it. Allah asked him. For the first time, he's been called with this name, Iblis. Iblis means the one who rebels. He refuses to follow the command. Allah says, Ya Iblis, what has caused you to bow down, to, to refuse my command to bow down to Adam? Iblis, he says, no, I, I am better than him. You created him from clay. 
clay is something which is on the on the floor we will step on and you created me from fire and fire is is higher and is better and is lighter also this basically that's what shaitan was telling allah he says no me i'm better than him i can't bow down to him how can any anybody address the lord of the world like that so he had no other people. but he had a lot of knowledge but he had no taqwa taqwa is the condition of the heart rasulullah said in a hadith at taqwa ha huna at taqwa ha huna at taqwa ha huna and he said it three times and each time he says it he points to his heart in his chest his taqwa is not about uh, what you have taqwa is not about how you look taqwa is not about any of those things taqwa is something that you have inside you in your heart how much you respect allah how much you know about what matters with regards to obeying the commands of allah wa ta'ala to do the things that allah say you should do and to stop doing those things that allah says you should stop doing that is taqwa the Prophet said in a hadith, Inna Allah la yanguru ila ma suwarikum wala ila ahamalikum wala kin yanguru ila ma fi sudurikum. Allah does not look at how you look outwardly, and also Allah does not even look at your actions. But Allah looks at what is inside your breast, your heart, your taqwa. Is, is your heart purified? That's why purification of the heart is such an important thing. Allah says, Ad aflaha man zakaha, wa qad khawa man dasaha. The one who purifies it, he becomes successful. Wa qad khawa man dasaha, and the one who leaves it dirty, he becomes unsuccessful. Because in this year, you want to, he saw a nice tribe, a nice tribe, you want to. It is the one that is directing the person what you must do, how you must do it, when you must do it. So, in this year, is very important if your heart is pure everything about you is pure if your heart is dark everything about you is also dark so the, the heart is the is the is the center of the human being and it is the it is what Allah wants Allah does not want anything else on human qiyamah Allah says no one will be successful Except the one who comes in front of Allah with a heart that is sound and pure and healthy. That's why this matter of the heart, if a person is sick in the body and is also sick in the heart, the most important doctor you must look for first is the doctor of the heart. Because the body is a flesh that can, will perish with time. The heart, when you pass away, it does not die. It lives, it carries on, because that's where the soul is staying. The heart is you, is your real you. In this yoyako ingwen, as kulum in this yoyenya, yoyenya, as kulum in this yoyomo. When you leave this world, that is what leaves. It's not the, the, the flesh. The flesh is That's why when we bury a person, we throw three handful, uh, uh, what you call, uh, uh, what you call dust in the hand. We take the first dust and then we recite the verse of the Quran. We say, from you, we created you. We put it in the grave and the sand, and the, and the second batch of sand, we pick it up again. We recite the verse of the Quran, which says, from it, we will resurrect you. And, and sorry, the first one, it says, from it, we created you. The second one is, from it, we are returning it to you. We are returning you back to where you came from. <coughs> and then the third batch of sand, we say, and from it, taratan ukhro. One more time, we will resurrect you again from it. And that is the day of judgment.
but in the balulegile, ubuena, when ubuena, it's in peace yo yo more. That is what you must look after all the time. You must cover it. That's why you must always uh, stay engaged in the, in the remembrance and the zikr of Allah Ta'ala. And because that is the manner in which you protect yourself. That is how you protect yourself. People go to great lengths to protect themselves, to protect everything what they have. You find a person who's uh, over an ADT. Or you graphite, light on top of graphite and ADT. <laughs> right. You will have a, a, a fence, you will have walls in the house, you will have roof, you will have security gate, you will have everything. Right. People will pay monthly subscription to protect the body. But when the soul leaves that body, it will pass through all these barriers and go back to a place where there is also another protection that it needs, but that protection is dependent on how you live this life. May Allah Taala protect all of us all the time and uh, keep us in His way all the time and uh, keep us on the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and guide us and guide our hearts and guide our minds and guide our ears and guide our, our eyes mm -hmm. and guide our tongues and guide every limb of our body. It must submit completely to Allah wa so that we become successful in this life and in the next life. Uh, before Peter <laughs> just for the baraka of the book and then we will carry on uh, next week, inshallah, because the, the time is school mile, satola was omoya, sister Namaji, who is a yam. Oh, we are a twinge. A Napam oversee pet, a Justin Zokazan, is in Kazimbabwe. So this is the, the, the forward of the book. It says, uh, We begin in the name of Allah. The compassionate, the merciful, praise be upon the one who has bestowed on us his infinite bounties and grace. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Holy Prophet, وسلم, the opener and the leader of the most straight path. Alhamdulillah, through the du'as and the devotion of all our brothers and sisters of the Tariqa, we are in a position today to compile a handbook essential to all our devotees and the students of the Tariqa. In this handbook, we have given a brief biography of Sheikh Ahmad Tijani radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Sheikh Ibrahim bin Yasser radiallahu ta'ala anhu, our beloved Sheikh Hassan Sisi radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and this handbook contains the weird the wazifa and the dhikr al -Jumu'a. it includes the guidelines on the conditions and the rules and the adab, the manners of the tariqa. Insha'Allah, through this, a student can achieve the maximum benefit from the practices of the tariqa. We are admittedly aware of our shortcomings and humbly beg that you overlook all unintentional errors. So this is the foreword of the writer of the book that he opens the book with. And he touches upon a few personalities. Uh, these personalities means a lot in the writer of the, uh, the, the, the to the writer of the book. Also means a lot to us because these are the people who brought the tariqa to us. So he puts briefly about their life and their biographies. To read about the biography of a scholar or an alim, the wali of Allah, it brings barakah and blessing in one's life. It brings rahmat. There is a saying that used to circulate among um, the Muslims from the early generation. Uh, Imam al junaid you know, he was a descendant of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He lived about 400 after the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of his students 
uh, after he he said he, he was discussing with them about some personalities prior predecessors that preceded him before he mentioned and he said in the degree awliya that rahmat that by mentioning the awliya allah tabaraka wa ta'ala such gatherings the, the rahmat of allah they they descend so one of the students he said so what about when you when you when you mention allah <laughs> Say, Mama Junet could not even answer that question. He, he just fainted. <laughs> right? So, and that is the... Because there, to even now... About Allah, then, that is like something else. Hmm? Um, it's very important to, 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 to mention the lives of the awliya because they, you get to understand how they grow up how they, they, they understood this deen and how they served Allah. If nobody told us about who the Sahabas were, we would never know how they assisted Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We would never know because these are the, our, our forefathers. They are, they are the, the first and foremost awliya tabaraka wa ta'ala. We would never know who Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is. But they did all that work, and those that came after him, they did all that work. And if we don't read up about them, and we don't familiarize our lives, we don't study their lives, we will never know how to deal with Allah wa ta'ala. So that is what I, uh, like the incident of Sayyidina Bilal, we were talking about now. That he was so much in the presence of Allah, that all he saw was just Allah. He did not even feel any pain. That they were trying to inflict. All he said, Ahad, 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 Ahad. Because all was there was Ahad, Ahad, was Allah, 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 Allah. Um, so the weird and the wazifa, as we know, and the dhikr al juma as we know, each one of it has got its own benefit. And uh, inshallah, we will try to give the, 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 the meanings and the tafsir of the weird step by step letter by letter and then give the meaning of it so that uh, you know when you read it then you try to to follow through so now you find that the nuance which okay because you know when you when you are engaged in the vicar of allah even the quran all the limbs of your body must always be active because the uh, quran is not like any other book. If you only look at the Quran, you get a reward for looking at it. If you read it, you get a reward for reading it. And if you hear it, even if it means you're hearing yourself, you get a reward for hearing it. You, you Three times, and then if your heart is thinking about it, you get a reward for your heart being engaged with it. Four times you get reward just by engaging with the Quran. All your being, all yourself, and all your everything must be completely absorbed. Allah says to Nabi Yahya alayhi salam in the Holy Quran, Ya Yahya, khudil kitaba bi quwa. Take this book with all your might and all your power that you are giving it to you. Taking this book with all your might and all your power means you involve your everything about yourself in this book. It's like Imaufun Islasha. Right? When you want to take the tree, you don't take the branch of the tree. You take the tree with its roots. Ustata means Islam, Islam, then we know what I was touching the Islam. The Holy Quran also like that. The Vicar of Allah is also like that. Um, <clears throat> so he says, the, uh, then the introduction, which is the Muqaddima, it says the the the, the tijaniya, because the writer of this book obviously is part of the tariqa. He says tariqa of the 20th century. The, that is the topic, and then he says uh, introduction. The tariqa tijaniya is a path and a way, or a tariqa and a, tariqa literally means a method 
of studying and putting into practice Islamic spiritual science, uh, meaning tasawuf uh, uh, spiritual science has at times been misleadingly called mysticism. However, in Islam, it is a regular science with its set laws and a full scheme of knowledge in detail. Uh, it is based on definite experiences that can be reproduced just like any other science. Every person passes through the same stages in their spiritual journey as the masters before them. Even the humblest learners can at least aspire to develop a sense of the presence of Allah Taala and acquire an increasing control over their passions and their desires for things worldly. Studying spiritual science is a means of learning. A muraqaba that is to see Allah in everything, that is, means to be conscious of Allah at all times. Mushahada, to witness Allah in everything, and Ma'arifa, to know or to experience Allah in everything. So that was a brief introduction. I think I'm going to talk about it, but I won't be long. So uh, what the writer is saying here is that uh, Ukaza itarika. The word tarika litka meriti tarika di shuguti in jela. Right, in jela. If like mama abu funu kam yenda wene tease, melunge no um kwako o tease. No um kwako lo ma hambangao uzo 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 finile isa guleo da ole la mele o figure kon. Tarika means a, a, a it's like a, it means a path or a way. Right. If you want to go somewhere, you know that if I take this road, I will reach this, this place. And that's what Tarika is. Tarika is basically a way. So that's what he's saying. And then he's saying, Another name is also is known as Tasawuf. I mean, he that. Uh, spiritual science, meaning uh, science means uluazi and spiritual means uwama pagat. So meaning, tarika is about the the science the, 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 of the inward movement of a person. I want to Allah tabaraka to Allah what may tell you to amtala what may what may easy to zoom zimba among the organs of the body, the 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 lungs, the heart. The, the spleen, the intestines, the brain, all of these are the organs of the body, and the hands, the, out, the outer organs of the body. Also, the human being, he has the organs that are internal, that are spiritual, that are inside. Uh, these organs are the ones that are controlling the flesh, the internal organs of the body. So. It does have meaning in Amayama Kama. It's about in Jela, your laws in what was in one law, Pagat. Right. There's a more in Amayama Kama. Am I want to buy babies? But it's mysticism. Mysticism is not, is not mysticism. And for no good cars, I like a man, he or woman, you know, but those are cars which you can't. But in Golpin, the next week, inshallah. But mysticism, I know why they're saying it's not mysticism, right? However, in Islam, it is a regular science, meaning it is a discipline like any other discipline we have in Islam. Like we have tafsir, we have fiqh, we have hadith, we have uh, usul, we have uh, lugha. You know, Nahwa, Sarf, the science of Tasawuf is also a science among the sciences of the Jew. Right? It's, a, it's a science, it's a branch of science. Ura Sula Salamot Mayas Tazel Islam, was Tazel Islam, was niggas a young king in Bozue in Indonesia. When Rasul Salam explained Islam to us, he gave it to us as one unit. We embrace everything and practice everything all at once without understanding and knowing each branch of science that is inside it. 
but it was the job of some Sahabas and the students of some Sahabas to start uh, extracting all the different kinds of sciences and formalizing them into what we have today. But the foundation was laid by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How did the Sahabas learn everything about Islam without them being Mufasir, Mufat, uh, what you call a Faqih, Muhaddith, uh, Usuli, Mufasir, Sufi, all of these different dis disciples? It's because they followed the Prophet Sallallahu blindly. They took everything he said. They did everything they saw him doing. By following him like that, they practiced Islam in all its entirety. That was how Islam was transmitted. So Islam and Judith Sahanika, what you call Ganjan, Malayul Jalale. That's why it's important to respect the Sahabas to the highest degree. Because these are the people that we took. If it's not for them, we will never know about Rasulullah. We will never know about what is Islam. Because they are the ones that took from the Prophet. Even they, you know, some of the things they detailed about the Prophet. Uh, if it was me, I'd be You know, say, say, do not, uh, what you call is it, Maimuna? Right now, Anna, eh, I know, you know, Maimuna. Na. <laughs> uh, we know, we know in the, the chapter of Rusul, uh, you know, the, in the Hanafi, Tinama Hanafi, you know, you can be Hanafi if you want to. I know some people are other Muslims. <laughs> how, how we perform the 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 the, the, the Rusul, We take it from that narration of say say that Tuna Maimuna, because she describes how the Prophet Sallam they made a Rusul. You know, with a bucket of water, both of them in the shower, and then they, 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 were, they, 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 were, they, they were bathing from the same water, the husband and the, and the, and the wife. I, I wonder if, you know, it was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little we know Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hey, the Sahabas, they did not leave any stone <coughs> unturned. They even counted how many grey hair were, were in his beard. They counted there were twenty-one grey hair, uh, hair in his beard in front. Bam scrutinized, bam studied, and they took everything about him. But at the beginning, I'm feeling. I know you you say he had no life. It's like it's a public thing. <coughs> It's, that is how he was. But we say shukran to all the Sahabas because if they didn't do it, we, we don't know how Rasulullah looked like. We, we don't know what to do in what, what, what circumstances. In any case, I, I was just trying to explain that uh, Islam had many different sciences, but in the time of the Sahabas, there was no time to put together all the sciences in their, in their different compartments. But all they did was they follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa now, uh, I want to say something here with regards to what I just explained now. The idea of having a, a sheikh, now we have a sheikh here, please, or not a sheikh here, ma'am. There's a sheikh and then there's a shark. The shark will eat you up, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the, 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 the sheikh, right, a true sheikh is somebody who follows Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his actions, in his saying, and in everything. And that's why when you, when you have a sheikh, then that sheikh, if he follows sharia, and he follows Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the letter, then it's good to follow such a person. Sometimes you spend, uh, you make suhba with a person, meaning companionship. You learn everything without even touching a book. Because he is the book. Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala revealed the Quran. He said, Alif la min dhalika al kitabu la reba fihi hudan lil muttaqina alladhina yu'minuna bil ghibi wa yuqimuna salata. Right, up to the end of the ayah. Uh, he says, 
That is the book. Right? What about this book? It is a guide for the people of Taqwa. They say the people of Taqwa refers to Sayyidina Umar because he was a person who excelled in Taqwa. Not to say the other Sahabas didn't have Taqwa. Everybody had. But Sayyidina Umar's Taqwa was very high. Right? It refers to Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. He was a person who believed and excelled in believing Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more than anybody else in the, in the unseen world, when it comes to the unseen world. And they established the Salah. And that part, they refers to Sayyidina Uthman Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu. Sayyidina Uthman was a person who was constantly making salah and making the da'wah of Qur'an all the time. Even when he passed on, he passed on, the enemies of Islam killed him, he was reading Qur'an. And then the last part of the ayah, Allah says, وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ From what we have given them of the sustenance, يُنْفِقُونَ They give charity, they give sadaqa, and this refers to Sayyidina Ali. These are the four companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that are alluded to in this ayah of the Holy Quran. But Labantu Lababa Chuli, Lababexi say Holy Quran, Gashe Bal Sholai, Bal Sholisi say, Bal Shazi. They say, Who is the Kitab? The answer says, Answer. Answer. I can't hear. Answer. I can't hear. Answer. Salaam alayhi wa sallam. He is the book. Zalikal kitabu. That is the book that you are giving you. He is the book. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the book. Some companions, they came to Sayyidina Aisha and Allah Ta'ala Anna. But okay, in Jiwa Yana Jiwa Unkus Kazi Waga Rasulullah Umutu Boshala Na Yempilu Niyako Umazi Yoyongkindo. Everything about Rasulullah you knew. I was Tazel Sisega Ashe, Stele. Who was Rasulullah Sosala? Begam Bani. I was Tazel. Sayyidina Aisha and Allah Ta'ala Anna was so Uma. She got up what she has in the neck. And when a man I dare me see to. Ngati has in the neck and shine it. But she didn't say that. But that was the tone. He said, Nina Bantu, you don't read the Quran. He says, no, we read the Quran. Sayyidah Aisha said, he is the Quran. If you want to know who Rasulullah is, he is the Quran. His character, everything is the Quran. And that's why the Mufassirin, they say, uh, uh, the book in this ayah, he refers to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself. Yeah, it's in Kumira, Kuru, uh, Bakwit. The... Hey, Gwam Kelo, Bo, Kazan, Jibuti, it does not go for Ritarika, it's just a science from among the other sciences of Islam. Nayo, inem tetu yayo, inem komo yayo, and everything like that. Just like we have a fit. A fit has got its own laws and all, 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 all its own rules. In the Quran, nayo, he tafsir he namar he namar rules wayo and all its own laws and the hadith. Ang ako manu tati hadith ubelu tay. Bismillah na yah hadith. Atin kaya ni implement. No, there 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 are rules and conditions when and how you should implement a specific hadith. How many jo ubelu kipe kabiti? No Bismillah na yah hadith. Unem tayo toya kon melu fund. There's laws and rules that govern the the whole science of hadith. You don't just take any hadith. So now I was explaining earlier on what uh, when you have a sheikh that he, he, he observes Sharia, that person will be able to translate Islam to you in a, in a correct in a correct manner, and that's why it's important. It is it is, it is important. It is important. Hey, I've got a nice story. <laughs> it is important to learn Sharia. So that you will know and recognize when someone is really a proper chef or is a shark. <laughs> because then you know when someone is a little bit dodgy, then you know where you're going, right? Um, 
But the science of the Tarot, the, 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 what you call the soul, it, it, uh, it deals with the matters of the heart, right? We will come back to it later on. We will come back to it later on. Muraqaba means to see Allah in everything, meaning you are conscious and you are aware of Allah all the time. That is Muraqaba. This is what the science of the Tarika and the Tasawuf is about. What you call Allah Allah so all the time, the time that That is muraqaba. Right? Mushahada means not only that, but now you are also witnessing him. You are witnessing the presence of Allah. Everything that you see, you always you see the actions of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. So that is Mushahada, you are witnessing. Right. Zonki Zenzes and Zagala, we are born over time. They see Nalu, Nalu, Nalu. Zonki Zenzo is Zenzo Ziga Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. So that is Mushahada, that is to witness. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Billahi Mafi Sama Watu or Mafi Ardi, Fa Aina Matu Walu Fafama Wajula. To Allah belong the East and the West. Any direction you turn, there is the face of Allah. Then verse lady, I was going to understand what to touch it dictionary or logo what it has of tea. You can only understand it by experiencing it, by reaching the maqam and the station of Mushahada. Sizongena, good little Kamalini, or Kamaris Kati. Just in your highlight and your mobile community, I will introduce you. And the last word they spoke about is Ma'arifa. Ma'arifa. It uh, means to know or to experience Allah in everything, right? Is to know and to experience Allah in everything. That is what Ma'arifa is, is about. So, Uguba Nalululu as a lolo, Elibnigayo, Elib Kazelayo, Eli Eliguenza Wuti, Ukonu experience for Allah Tabaraka Wata Allah, Buyo Yonkito. So, manje meaning also witness in Manje, so Sondeli, the Manje, so Genile. So we so we le makam le yaga pila la rajala wasala numa bamba em shaba chino shisayo ati ahad 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 he did not see anything only Allah 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 because now you you are experiencing in that station you you don't experience creation you don't even experience yourself only Allah ahad 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 right so that is uh, uh, that is is called maarifa. O Adam, Ali Salam, Uto Allah for Allah, my Adam, Al Asma, Akullah. Allah taught Adam the names of all things. In the tafsir of this ayah, many mufassirin they say these names are the names of Allah Tabaraka wa Taala, and they are Ma'arifa. They are Ma'arifa because O Adam, O Allah, Wam Taala, what is Allah Tabaraka wa Taala? Mujadifa. But he no Mujadifa. Right, in Khalifa, Khalifa ya Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Jengen Khalifa ya Allah, so he, Allah, gave him the ma'arifa. Right. Eh, the next section in the Lao season next week is about the principles of the Tarika, which are three. This is a better than a Spedo Allah Tabarahata Allah Guti Asbulele Masasong is Kati, Asmulele Futi, Ascombi Sindao, Egmede Sambi Guyo, and then Askain Sele, Nabumi Amakon. Amen. 
Allah <laughs> 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 <la